This video goes over how to install a freewheel lever on DLB series brake winches with a capacity over 350 pounds. This process does vary depending on if you have a DLB 800A, 1200A, 1500A, or 2500A. So only follow along when you see your winch's model number in the top left corner of the screen. On DLB 800As, you'll need two 9 16th inch wrenches, the freewheel lever, a spring, and a spacer. You can see the part numbers for these items now. Start by using the wrenches to remove the reel's lock nut, then pull the bolt out of the reel. Slide the spacer onto the reel bolt so its flat side is against the bolt head, followed by the spring so its narrower end is against the spacer, then slip on the freewheel lever using the hole closer to the hook of the lever. Reinstall the bolt through the reel, then retighten the lock nut on the end of it. There should be some give to the freewheel lever after it's installed, so do not over tighten the lock nut. The process, tools, and parts needed are identical for DLB 1200As and 1500As, except that you install the freewheel lever using the hole farther from the hook of the lever, not the one closer to it. On DLB 2500As, you'll need a bolt and lock nut in addition to the lever, spring, and spacer, as the freewheel lever on DLB 2500As is installed using these parts through the hole just below the reel bolt, so you don't have to remove the reel bolt to install the freewheel lever on it. And similar to DLB 1200As and 1500As, you need to use the hole on the lever that is farther from its hook on DLB 2500As. Thanks for watching. Click the top right thumbnail for more general info on the freewheel lever. Then please like this video, share it, and subscribe to our channel.